Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. After a pretty quiet weekend for most of us, we've got some big changes on the way for this week. No big snowstorms, but just about everything else, which I'll touch on here uh, right now. We'll peek at the uh, upcoming week ahead. First, we're going to have some scattered snow showers kind of on and off through midweek, and that includes tonight and then probably again uh, Tuesday night and into Wednesday with a series of frontal passages. And then Wednesday, after the second cold front rolls through, we're going to see temperatures nosedive in a big way, unfortunately, and then that will lead to some pretty dangerous wind chills, which I'll show you here Wednesday night into Thursday. So hold on for all of that. Here's a look outside right now to the Bismarck area. Nice and quiet today. We got up to 34 degrees, about 7 degrees above the average of 27. So pretty tranquil day, above average overall. Same thing in the Magic City. You got the 31, about 7 degrees above the average high of uh, 24. Well, well, not too far off that record of 47 set back in 1996. We'll take you outside to Dickinson tonight. Nice and quiet. You can see probably most everybody home on this Sunday evening. 21 right now in Dickinson. Those south-southwest winds at 18 miles an hour, giving you a little bit of a chilly wind chill there of 6 degrees. You can probably notice a little bit of uh, vibration here in the Williston camera. They've got west winds at 16 miles an hour. It's knocking your wind chill down to 14 degrees. Clouds have been on the increase from uh, northwest to southeast throughout the evening hours, and those clouds will continue to filter through the region, allowing the chances for some snow showers and flurries from the north to the south as we go through the overnight hours. You can see those southwesterly winds still keeping temperatures relatively warm. A little bit cooler to the southwest during the upper teens because they have a fresh snow pack, which is deep in some locations. You can see those winds again out of the southwest here between 10 and 15 miles an hour. Again, really nothing that we're not accustomed to for this time of the year. We're going to have a series of cold fronts roll through, which you'll see here with Precision Cast. The first one will roll through here throughout the day on Monday, and pretty much this will just lead to a general shift in the winds. It won't get too cold behind it. Then we're going to have a quick rebound on Tuesday. You can see those uh, winds out of the east and southwest again, and then this second cold front on Wednesday means business. That will shift our winds around from the north and that will send temperatures plunging. Winds will also be on an increase behind that front. You can see this is Tuesday. As we go through the day on Tuesday, winds ahead of that front will be picking up, especially in the southwestern part of the state, concerned with uh, some blowing snow issues down there, especially because of that fresh snowpack. And then once that front rolls through, here's a look at wind chills Wednesday night. You can see many of us, 30 to perhaps 40 degrees below zero. Dangerous stuff. The good news is it should be short-lived. 24 tonight in the capital city with a few snow showers developing by the dawn hour with those winds still gusting to about 20 miles an hour at times. Meanwhile in Minot, 22 degrees, snow showers probably after midnight. Again, another breezy night out there. In Dickinson over the next three days, not too bad. Scattered snow showers Monday and then just some cloudy conditions Tuesday and on Wednesday. About the same thing for Wilson with the chance for an afternoon rain and snow mix on Tuesday. And here's a look at the extended forecast for the Bismarck area. You can see chances for snow early in the week, and then temperatures will be falling throughout the day on Wednesday. It'll start out relatively warm before it really cools off, probably by uh, uh, into the single digits by the time that uh, you're heading home from work Wednesday night and into Thursday. You can see that high on Thursday in the single digits for everybody. Some places further to the north may struggle to get above zero, but you can see Minot 15 below zero Ooh. Wednesday night into Thursday, Renee. But we warm up for Valentine's Day, which is, if you've got plans with your <laughs> significant other, it should be nice. Something to look forward to. Thanks so much, Robert. Coming up next in sports, a new sport makes its 2020 debut on the top five plays of the week. Find out which one up next.